All right, well, folks, what I am doing is I'm melting some butter in the microwave here. I've already got two sticks in. I'm adding two more sticks, so i got a pound here. We're doing it. We're making the baklava tonight. So, buckle up. Let's do this. I'm going to melt this the rest of the way. Okay. All right, so with baklava, basically we've got phyllo pastry dough, okay? Phyllo. This is not puff pastry. This is phyllo. Thin, thin sheets, okay? Now, I have big pans, so I bought the bigger box. I could have bought uh, a box that is like, has half the size uh, sheets, well, two-thirds the size sheets in it, uh, and you get two. This uh, this box just has the one one big roll because it's the double size, okay? But I have two of them here. I'm not sure if I'm going to need both of them because I don't know how many layers are in one of these bundles yet, but we're going to start with this one. Now, I've uh, had this sitting out had this sitting out for a couple of hours and I pulled it out of the freezer uh, two days ago. So it's uh, definitely, you know, been tempered properly and that's the way you want to do it. You don't want to try and, you know, flash unfreeze this. It comes frozen. The longer you, uh, you know, let it rest and gradually uh, bring it to room temperature, the better off you're going to be. It's a lot easier to work with. A lot less crumbly. Okay, that's what happens. It, it'll be crumbly. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up and uh, see what it looks like when we untwist it here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. You want to be very gentle with it. And definitely want to use the the wrapper. See, you want to use the wrapper as you know a lever, basically. See how thin this is, how delicate it is. We want to be very, very careful. Okay, so now, basically, the premise of this is we're going to um, spray the pan. We're going to put a uh, layer of pastry down. And then we're going to put some clarified butter on, another pastry layer, more butter, more pastry. We're going to alternate, okay? Once we get up about mm, six, eight layers, I'm going to give it a brown sugar walnut mixture. Okay, I'm going to use some dark brown sugar with some very finely chopped walnuts. Uh, I'll probably add a little bit of cinnamon to that mixture too. And uh, sprinkle it on. And then more layers, okay? However, I'll count the layers as to how many we have in the puff pastry here, or the, the, the phyllo. It looks like quite a bit. So, let's get started here. First off, let me give this pan a spray. Okay, we're not doing any, uh, I'm being very generous with it. We're not doing any um, any parchment paper, okay? So none of that. All right. Let me... I don't want to use these first few pieces. So what I'm going to do is come back here. Oh, I see that rip is pretty far in. Dang. All right. Well, what we can do is just give it a flip. There we go. I didn't want any imperfect sheets to start with. Now I'm gonna over, it's over my pan, so I'm gonna go out to like here. So I'm gonna crumple it up on the sides here. All right, so let's get started with this first one. Okay. Oh my god. 
so delicate. It's going to be almost impossible to get like a single whole sheet. My goodness. This is not cooperating. <laughs> well, this is going to be one of them videos where it's going to be like watching paint dry. <laughs> Here we go. All right, let's just get started with it. Got to start somewhere, right? Ah, oh, Mingya. All right, well, we'll fix it later. We'll get back on track here. Well, I think that now would be a good time to sprinkle some nuts on here. Measuring with our heart. <laughs> Not our head. Nah, this is the uh, this is the main fill, so you know. I don't think anyone would fault you for using a lot. Oh yeah, no, not at all. Of course not. I'm really not. Which is the perfect amount. Hmm. <laughs> It's just the perfect amount. Perfect amount, whatever you feel in your heart. <laughs> now you're catching on, my brother. It's exactly. All about love the food. That's exactly right. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> let's do this again. Okay. And here we go. Here we go. Rocking up high, rocking down low. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 
Alright, let's see what we can do over here. Let's try with these two here. Ooh, ooh, look at this. I can still make heads or tails of it, jeez. <laughs> Alright, now the corners go there. <laughs> wow, that's about the cleanest one yet, I must say. Mm -hmm. Oy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And... Mm. Left and we got the the piece for next time. <laughs> we got the piece for next time. Now this is good. Very good. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Indeed, that's very good. Okay. We're going to need more butter. Uh, do you believe? My grandmother always used to hum in the kitchen when she was working. Okay. One eternity later. Man, when I worked at the Gateway and um, the Gateway Banquet Conference Center back yeah. in the, back when I was a young lad in the nineties, there was this one lady. Okay, her name was Mad Dog. That's what we all used to call her, and uh, she was the most wonderful, sweetest lady. And she used to make. She used to do this phyllo, you know, and she'd make these hors d'oeuvres and she'd roll up all these spanakopitas and mm -hmm. all these twisty things and these rolls and like with artichoke dip and mushroom filling and oh my gosh, it was just, each one was like a work of art in themselves, you know? Oh yeah. And she, <laughs> I don't know how she had the patience for this. She used to... You know, she used to yell and scream a lot and make jokes and have fun and laugh and everything. But now I know why she was laughing so hard. She was trying to stay stay sane from the phyllo. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. It's one thing I love about the restaurant business. You meet so many wonderful people. You yeah, know, too. being a DJ, you would know that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. really, you know. You I've meet, met a lot of wonderful people. You meet people from the back of the house, couples, the front of the house. Other vendors that are just awesome people. I'm sure. Alright, let's put this one this way. Present company included, of course. Oh, well. Shucks. Right. Oh, will you look at that? It's almost like it was made to be there. On the plus side, this is actually teaching people how to troubleshoot when they run into this kind of problem. Well, it's all about the troubleshoot, you know? Oh, yeah. And then you make adjustments, you figure out what works and what doesn't, and you go from there, you know, ideally. Yeah. So, you know, I tell you what, you know, when you... 
When you truly bake with love and from the heart, nothing ever comes out exactly the same two times in a row. That's true. You know, it's just not how it works, you know. I know. So, and, you know, I mean, there are certain things that you want to make sure that you're totally consistent on so that people know what to expect. You know, like when your mom makes potato salad for the family picnic, you know, you don't want it to be from Wegmans, you know. I mean, it just doesn't work, you know. So, but, you know, certain things, you know, could be pecans instead of walnuts, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's okay. You know we got to do it, right? Of course. All right. This second. Maybe this one will be a little easier. Hopefully. We shall see. We shall see. Well, like you said, if it's not wrinkled, then they come apart pretty easily. Okay. Let's see what we got here. This is, uh, oh, 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 baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one might be a little easier to work with. Okay, so that's my trouble spot, which means if I go this way, I'm going to be ripping the top off on each one. That's okay. At least I'll be consistent. Okay, so let's do our two. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. That's how it should be. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you want it to be. Yes. In honor of Madeline. Mad Doug. Yes. (laughs) Interesting the things you think about when you're doing your work, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Paint the house again. <laughs> What's that? We're going to paint the house oh, again. Oh, yeah. You got to get back to the paint. Got to get back to the painting. Is that painting or painting? Painting. Painting. I'm painting. I'm painting a picture of a pan of baklava. Yes. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. I remember the first time I ever had baklava. Yeah. <laughs> One of my uh, my aunt, I think it was my aunt, yeah. sent it to my mom and my dad. You know, for Christmas for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, so all of a sudden there's this giant pan of this giant Greek baklava in our fridge. Well, don't you know, every day after school, you know, I'm freaking on it. Oh, my gosh. I must have eaten five, six pieces a day. I don't blame you. And I think I ate more than I wanted to. Because we all been craving it. We don't even have an order. We just wanted to make it. Okay, so what do I got? I think I got three left here. It's just two. No, it's just two. Yeah, it's two. Good. Okay.
So I don't know how long this is going to take to bake. <laughs> we'll time it. But I'm going to bake it at my normal normal baking temperature, which is going to be, uh, you, for you folks at home, you'd want to bake it at about 340, 350 in your oven at home. Uh, I myself, I'm going to bake it about 295, okay. which is, you know, basically I like to bake cakes at like 285, 295, or 285 to 290. Uh, depending on how big the cake is. If it's like thin, something thin, then I like to do it on, you know, 285. But you got to figure 50 degrees more because I've got the convection oven. I've got the, you know, the, the hot air traveling around. So it makes a big difference. It does. We have actually, we have a <laughs> convection oven at home. Yeah. Dude. And it just like, cooks things so quick. I'm just like... Yeah, why not? No, I'm not putting it on there. Oh. I mess it up. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You don't want to do that. No, it's too late for that. Okay, so now, um, like I said, let me, uh, I'm going to chill this for a few minutes. And then, uh, then we'll bake it. So give us just a few minutes. Well, sit tight and we'll be, we'll be right back with the next step. Okay. All right. So. As I said earlier, uh, this is the dessert that we cut before we bake it. I have got, I put this in the fridge, okay? It's been chilling for about 20 minutes or so. It's nice and firm, okay? Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off by uh, going this way with it. Okay. Now you want to cut parallel pieces. Now I'm really good at sectioning off. I've cut a lot of pans of brownies and bars and chocolates and such. If you want to get a ruler out and uh, section off, you know, your where your line should be, that might be appropriate for most folks to do. I just kind of eye it because I've done this so many times okay basically the key is that they all be the same be consistent and you be straight okay you want to be straight and you want to be consistent you want to cut that little edge off there okay all right so I basically got five even even strips. Now I'm gonna go back the other way. Okay, like so. And I want squares right now. So let's go with about right here. Okay. Can be a little bit off, but you want to be as close as possible because we're going to go back and do it in the diagonal too, and that's where it gets complicated. So you really want to make sure your squares are even. Okay. Even if you're going to have a bit on the end that's not going to be quite right, it's still best to have the one be, be uh, correct because we can always just call these edge pieces. Okay. All right, now for the tricky part, fun part, tricky part. Tricky part. <laughs> Fun part, tricky part. All right. One.
Okay. Just like watching paint dry. Cutting all the way down to the bottom of the pan, that's very important. You don't want to leave those last layers uncut. Okay, now. Okay. And I'm just going to leave that piece. over here. Oop, a little bit off. Whoopsie. Still got to be gentle with it. All right. Okay, now we're ready to pop it in the oven. Okay, I have already pre-warmed the oven. It's already good and hot. So, I'm going to pop it in. And we're going to time it, see how long it takes. And we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so this is the... I strained the juice... Strained everything out. Gonna put a little honey in. Oh man, it's amazing, sir. Well, yeah, that was the idea. Check this out, folks. That's where it's at. My friends at the honey place. There you go. Grumpy bees. They're the best. Okay. So, how I made this sauce was I put water, put a bunch of water, a handful of water, lemon, apple, Cinnamon, cinnamon stick, you know, nutmeg, um, sugar, granulated sugar. Cooked it all down, just added the honey. Okay, now I've got a nice little syrup here. See how it's a little, it's not like so watery, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's got a It's more like what you'd find in a can of pears, you know? Yeah. So, alright. So, let's get this out. My God. Back off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you go get it? Where is it? In the other room. On the table. Mm -hmm. What we need to do is put a pan holder down. Get the new one. Or a pan. 
This is hot. Super hot. Super, super hot. Super hot. All right. This is what we wanted to do. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Okay. So, how long do you think it baked? Uh, I timed it so I know. What do you think? 40 minutes? Very close. Took 37 minutes to bake this, actually. And, but, here's the caveat. Okay, after 10 minutes, I went and checked it, uh, just to see how it was doing. And I turned it up 20 degrees. Huh? Okay, so I had my oven set at 310, which would be 360 at home. 360, maybe 370, even. Yeah. Okay, so it's hot, you know. And look, you know, this is all crisp. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, this had color back at 25 minutes, okay? Because remember, I checked this twice, remember? Yeah. I did right at about 10 minutes, and then I did it uh, about 12 minutes later, mm-hmm. okay? And then, you know, now here we are with, the, you know, the final time. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's that's what it took for this to bake. Now, normally speaking, I would want to probably uh, let this cool down for a little while. And then I would add my syrup. I'm going to go ahead and add it now for the sake of the video. And because, you know, I know one thing that the ladies are getting. The ladies angry. are going to get grumpy. They're getting they're anxious. Ahead. They want to try the baklava. Yep. So, anyway, so uh, let's go ahead and add some of this. Okay. Now, what you got to realize is this is actually better the next day. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say that right now. This is better the next day. Um, ooh, that sizzle. Mm-hmm. Basically, what you want is for the pastry to absorb all this juice, all this syrupy sauce, you know, and then it all melts together, and it's just yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, so here we go. Now this is hotter than hotter than hell right now. We'd be <laughs> foolish to try and you know, right? We we need to actually let this sit for a minute or two, um, and then and then you know take a piece out and, and enjoy it. But yeah, see how you got that nice glaze. On the on the brown toasted pastry, yeah. Well, that's all. That's what we're looking for, right there. You know that color and all those flakes, okay. And then that syrup is just going to moisten it all together. It's going to be good. Mm-hmm. So outstanding. Yeah. All right. So hold tight. We'll be right back. All right. Here we go, folks. We're going to give it the go. Let's do this. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh that crunch. Mm-hmm. Okay, now you see why you cut it beforehand. Yeah. I think it would probably be impossible after the fact. Yes, it would be. Absolutely impossible. Okay, look at that. Oh, 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 That's oh. what I'm talking about right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. See? Okay. I need one too. Absolutely. I actually just gave you two portions. Normally you get one one corner, one triangle. And you'll see why. It's very rich. Look at that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Look at that yumminess. Okay. Go ahead. Just eat it. Don't wait for me. (laughs) I know what it's going to taste like. Banging, huh? Mm. 
<laughs> Holy macaroni. There are no words. Nope. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, so you got your soaked layers on the bottom. And then you got your brown sugar layer with the nuts. And then all the layers on the top, you know, they don't get soaked as much. So you get all that, all those layers with the lift and all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. That's just like, mmm. Mm. Mm. This was worth waiting for, my friend. Mmm. All right. Mm. Mm hmm Yeah. This is why I made it. Right here. <laughs> so good. <laughs> mm. Flavor wow. of is so worth it. Oh my god. That's just like naughty good. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. I've got giggles. <laughs> Isn't that just like the perfect balance? Mm. There's not too much sauce. No. It's easy to overdo it with the sauce, but this is good. This is good. Everything is, like, perfectly balanced. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Folks, I don't know. You got you to try this at home. You got to... That's the only way to... I'm we we, can, take my hand we can talk about how good this is all day long. It's, like, better than apple pie. You know? I mean, okay, can you imagine some sliced apples added to this? Uh, I mean, doing <laughs> yeah. I I can see it. I can see a layer of apples in the baklava. You could do that. Oh man, I got. I think I need to try that. You know, it would be like doing a strudel, but but a layer, but baklava. Yeah. But the, with a big layer, you know. Huh. Yeah, maybe we'll try. There's so that many sometime. crazy possibilities. With oh this, yeah. You know? Well, that's the thing about baking and baking with love. Mm -hmm. You know. Hey. As what's our famous line, you know, you bake with love and passion, it's sure to be delicious. Here we are. This was. Oh. Remember, how, remember how I was crabbing about them layers? <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm glad I just dealt with the layers, okay? This is freaking banging. Totally yum, yummy and delicious. So, oh. <laughs> thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comments. Okay, comment please. down below. And uh, Rob, this one's for you because I know how you like to watch paint dry. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> take care, buddy. All right, we'll see you on the next video, folks. Thank you.